Hi, I'm Pure Excellence, the most important political mind this side of the United States. But let's just explore this idea. I'm gonna pass it to my homeboy, James. James, go ahead and take this away. The Stimulus Lighthouse Alert Community presents 245 lawsuits and 50 days to go. How the 2020 campaign is likewise being waged in the courts against Trump. Three, Washington with election day 50 days away, the 2020 election battle is being waged not just on the campaign trail, however likewise in courtrooms around the country, as efforts to alter voting treatments during the coronavirus pandemic have actually generated a barrage of legal obstacles and left the presidential campaign accumulating armies of lawyers all set to fight after the ballots are cast. As of August 31st, there have been at least 245 coronavirus election cases submitted in 45 states, the District of Columbia and Puerto Rico, according to Justin Levitt, a teacher at Loyola Law School who has been tracking the disputes that seek to shape the election rules. He says he began counting the cases a few months back. Now, he composes, I've tracked rather a great deal of them. And I'm 100% sure I'm missing some. Election law professional state each cycle tends to bring with it an uptick in brand new lawsuits, but this year is distinct. The pandemic and the polarization that we have today have truly turbocharged it, Dale Ho, director of the Voting Rights Project at the American Civil Liberties Union said, the ACLU alone would typically submit three to five brand new cases in the run-up to an election, which would touch on problems like signature matching procedures or the closure of polling locations, Ho said. But this year, it has actually filed 20 cases in 16 states, the vast bulk of which handle absentee and mail-in ballot. We're just requesting for the guidelines to be reasonably accommodating to this crazy, once-in-a-lifetime scenario we discover ourselves in, Ho stated. Levitt kept in mind that suits were submitted previously in the year, too, which he attributes to the pandemic, as election officials changed the ballot treatments for the primaries. Some of these concerns were going to arise no matter what, he stated in an interview. Some of these issues are the sorts of concerns you see contested in any election cycle, however a number of them were distinct to the pandemic. 34 states and the District of Columbia offer no excuse absentee voting, and five states perform their elections completely by mail. But the pandemic left election officials rushing to alter their procedures so votes could be cast securely, which prompted some staying states to try to ease their rules for vote by mail, such as witness and signature requirements. But Republicans fret that rash efforts by states to raise limitations will lead to citizen scams, though there's little evidence for this. President Trump, who's leading the opposition versus mail-in ballot, is combating in the courts to keep voting rules unchanged in the face of the pandemic. See you in court, Mr. Trump tweeted last month after the Nevada legislature voted to send out mail-in ballots to all active authorized voters. He and the Republican National Committee followed through on that danger and have actually submitted similar claims in Pennsylvania, New Jersey and, most recently, Montana. Up until now, the Trump Project and the RNC have actually allocated $20 million for litigation this election, and they're working on raising an army of 50,000 volunteers to keep track of ballot places in battlefield states, according to reports. But they say it's the Democrats who are to blame for the rash of legal fights during the campaign. Democrats have filed one insane suit after another in 18 states throughout the nation, working to undermine the stability of our election, Matthew Morgan, Trump 2020 basic counsel, said in a statement to CBS News. They think they can sue their method to success and there's no informing what other shenanigans Democrats will pull as soon as polling places are open. Republicans will be ready to make certain the surveys are being run properly, firmly, and transparently as we work to provide the totally free and reasonable election Americans should have. Joe Biden's campaign is likewise preparing to release its own fleet of lawyers and volunteers. Biden told donors throughout a virtual fundraising event in July his campaign has put together 600 legal representatives across the country and 10,000 volunteers to determine if any chicanery is most likely to happen. While there has been a flurry of claims installed in the run-up to the election, campaigns are likewise getting ready for the battle to continue in the courts long after ballots are cast, raising the specter of several Florida 2000 recounts and during weeks beyond Election Day. In the 2000 race in between George W. Bush and Al Gore, the lead to Florida were too close to call, resulting in manual states in four counties. The Supreme Court ultimately intervened a month after the election and halted the recount, sealing the election for Mr. Bush. It's completely a foregone conclusion that we must all prepare for lawsuits ramping up even more than it currently is now, Jessica First Johnson, an election law lawyer who has worked for Republicans, told CBS News. Johnson kept in mind that during the 2018 recount for the U.S. Senate race in Florida, where she led the GOP response, there were roughly 25 various lawsuits submitted. 
However, the 2020 election sees the merging of several new factors, including the pandemic, expected record-setting citizen turnout and the fast expansion of vote-by-mail in lots of states, setting the phase for legal battles in state and federal courtrooms across the country. These states are making really drastic changes in a really brief period of time, she stated. A great deal of the litigation on the Republican side is trying to hold the authorities' feet to the fire on that point. Not only does the Constitution state the legislature has the responsibility for designating the time, way and place of the election, however these are really knee-jerk changes. Johnson noted that it took a number of years for Washington state to transition to all vote by mail. However this year, many states are attempting to execute changes to their voting regulations in a matter of months. With all of these changes that have not been well considered in a great deal of circumstances, we'd be insane to think that things aren't going to be messy for quite a while after the election, she said, including, we all require to be gotten ready for circumstances that we've never ever seen before. Mr. Trump currently appears to be setting the expectation that he might question the integrity of the election results, telling press reporters last month it could be months before a winner is declared due to the fact that of lost ballots. As part of his frequent attacks on vote by mail, the president has alerted on Twitter that mail-in tallies might cause a rigged election if those counted after election day propel Biden to triumph. Levitt said he anticipates lots of nonsense that seeks to cast doubt on the stability of the outcome of the election but doesn't think those efforts will succeed. Still, the chaos of the governmental election is not anticipated to ease off when the polls close November 3rd. Johnson recalled that in 2018, the Florida recount forced her to cancel a household getaway scheduled for the week before Thanksgiving. I joked with my family that this year, they'll be fortunate if I see them at Christmas, she said. Getting ready for overtime, as Levitt called it, is basic in governmental elections, as lawsuits becomes part of the regular dispute resolution process. However the effect of the legal battles most likely won't be understood up until after the election and will depend upon how many states have small margins. It might be that there's significant litigation after the election however still within normal bounds, he said. Or it might be we're all awaiting five justices on the Supreme Court to tell us who won the presidency, and that's the worst case scenario for everybody, the court consisted of.